Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Brofoman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Persia. In this episode, the garrison in Cairo is finally sallying against us, so let's annihilate them. We're not going to be sitting back, they have mortars, so we are very much just, um, we're very well served um, by just pushing forward and minimising our losses to that particularly dangerous system. Um, but once we've taken Cairo, that will be the Middle East secured and cleared of Ottoman presence. And then we can start to lay the groundwork for the invasion of the Balkans. Preferably by taking out Istanbul and um, Athens. Yeah, our, so they're attacking us, but we're not going to sit back and take it. Let's get my Kizilbashi front line set up. Because we are going to push. There we go. Put my Feline and my. Actually, let's see how it's properly split this up. Feline on one flank, Feline on another flank. Israeli are going to hold. Melee infantry, just get ready to push. Hillman, hold. Storm the, these buildings. Storm the town. They're probably going to go after my pikemen. My mortars are... Where are they? Here, the edge of town. Get my gunners to engage the... Oh, they're going to kill some of my own camels. Let's watch that happen. Eight camels due to friendly fire. Got a lot more of them, though. Push forward, advancing through the town quickly. Where's the other unit? Secure that building. Oh, here we go. Here's the core of their army. Gunners. Gauge these camel gunners. Come into melee if you want. Pikeman's gonna get you. Oh, they're shattered. Pikeman's gonna fall. Flank of these guys. Oh, you're reloading. Engage the Azar with artillery fire. Artillery inbound. Oof. No, they're not having any of that either. It's all down to these mortar crewmen who are still frantically loading and fight. They're loading. Chase these guys off our land. There goes the mortar crews. Some of them have recovered. Now let's end the battle there to get um, to maximise enemy attrition and minimize our losses they should be nearly might even be our yeah they've got one unit left in the city so let's take the quick win while we can let's 
So I think when I attack Istanbul, I'm going to want a, a full army plus maybe half a stack of infantry just to provide the bulk. Because I imagine that first army is going to get chewed up quite badly. So I'm going to want another army back um, to reinforce the city after I've captured it. Actually, I think it's worth knowing, in this army, in Persia, you cannot get... Um, you cannot get um, like howitzers. You can get mortars, but mortars are pretty pants. Rockets are great. Yeah, a lot, I mean, mortars just not that not that great. I might try a mortar unit, but the great guns are good. But yeah, but artillery only. So I think okay, four and a half. Okay, right. So we've got who's who is here? Camels. I'm gonna fight it just to minimize my losses. Um, but what I want to do, I, I think all of my armies, I need to have about four foot artillery pieces with really good, um, well, with sh shrapnel shot, really, is what I want. Everybody, you know what? Let's just take stock, stock formation. Oh, you're gonna make us do this. Remember the guns. Shoot them. Force them to come into us. Boom. See you later, Buster. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to need to, need to recruit a lot more um, artillery than I currently have. But Cairo is taken, so we want to move the sloop from this shipyard. Actually, no. Sorry. Yes, you weren't there yet. Move the sloop over... No. Move the sloop over to the fishing yard. And tear it down. Then... Um, you probably go over to Izmir. So that's one full army. Ready. But you have precious little artillery and you're depleted anyway. Uh, let's get reinforcing. Six turns till Batman is grows. Okay, let's build a school. It'll add a lot of clamor for reform, but it'll take three turns to build, so we'll get rid of some more for resistance to foreign occupation. I think we should be okay. Worst come to the worst, we might have to sit in it as a bit of a garrison. So we really need more... Um, well, I would like more research research potential. Three thousand one hundred. Let's repair some of the buildings in Cairo. Seven four seven. Upgrade the high yield farm, I suppose. But yeah, you need more artillery. Well, realistically, right? I need. It's like a drill school gets me. It's what gets me kids bashing musketeers. What is after drill school? Military academy gets me general's bodyguard and lancers. So I think once I get, if I can get those three schools, I'd like to have one focusing on philosophical text, one focusing down this military research tree to unlock to go down the tree as fast as they can. Because I particularly want. Where are they? Sikh warriors, Sikh musketeers, Islamic swordsmen. Although I think I can only recruit them in Indian territories. What's what I could do with taking Trincomalee? Perhaps that might be an option. You don't get there in one turn, so it will be a bit of a risk. So I've not got any of the basic naval techs. Yeah, many things we can be doing. 
But yeah, right now, because we've we are reasonably secure, we're gonna take a bit of time to upgrade our economy a bit. Because we should be getting a reasonable amount of cash. Ooh. Oh, they've left. Oh, no. They've left Istanbul completely unsecured. The temptation. Oh. No, no, it's... No, I think we could take it, but I think the f subsequent um, mobbing by three stacks of Ottoman troops would be our undoing. No, we need to be more intelligent about this. And ultimately, you may end up having to go for Athens first as a bit of a diversionary diversionary attack to draw Ottoman troops away from Istanbul. 7,000. Shashin in Syria. Well, get up here. Because, yeah, we've got our spy ring set up. They're all in Thessaloniki. They've got lots of these Janissaries and Bashi Bazooks. Hmm. Okay, so. They, oh, they've only got half a garrison in there as well. We've got to do it. Oh no, we can't get there in one turn. Okay, loiter halfway. Bring up some fellow musketeers. Upgrade Ankara with drill school. Upgrade, we build Alexandria, a trade port. Upgrade Cairo's road network. 1200. Um, get a craft workshop. Did you develop this turn? You did. Two carpet weavers cottages built, which is great. New, hey, another agent. Okay, let's send you down to here. It looks like the the um, Mughals are actually doing okay, so we can afford to ignore them for a bit. But that's so tempting. But we're out of, we're out of range, and we need to reinforce anyway. And we only have one gun. Too bad I can't get rid of my monarch. Um, what about re uh, trade? We've got more ports now. No, nope. no more trade. Well, we might have more trade options after this is built. Perhaps. This will be it. Yeah, we're in a we're in a nice position right now. But I think really we need to. I want to take Ceylon, but I want. I need to focus on the Ottomans because that's an awful lot of troops they've got. Okay, they're coming back. I think I'm going to I'm going to keep building up my forces really. That's all I'm able to do. So I don't want to waste an entire army uh, take, taking Istanbul then losing it and then having having them be completely destroyed. That would be the worst possible outcome. So you need to be smart about this. Wealth of nations, which is a great technology. How's your trade? Okay, you're back in trading again now. No, you're not. Bonk. 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 
Oh, and break that port they're developing at Heracleon. Good. Anchor's got the school of poetry. Okay, that'll help. Maybe build a Sultan's Observatory as well to get more priests. Carpet Weaver's Cottage. Okay, get to this army. I'm going to give you a general, just to make it a little bit easier to just bring in troops that we need. Sadly, you can only recruit two a turn until we get drill... Oh no, even the drill squad doesn't necessarily help here. Loiter. You could attack it now, but they'll, they might be able to... Oh... It's a really good force to counter-attack. We've got a reasonable force to defend, though, to be fair. No, you're not You're not able to help. Okay. 1,100... No easy quick wins here. More agents are on the way. Uh, Comanche, maybe you ought to get going on some of these military techs. Actually, no. Go down some of the artillery, artillery lines. Because really, we want to try and scoot through this quickly to get down to shrapnel shot. It'll take a while, but the shrapnel shot will be... We won't have quick line to deal with large amounts of enemies. We will have to rely on shrapnel shot in the battlefield to do lots of damage. So we might be talking about... F four batteries of foot artillery is probably okay. Uh, 2400 for two techs. Social contract... Okay, those are quite early philosophical techs. Yes. That's a good deal. I'll move away again. Okay, so they've got a full garrison. But that's not too terrible. Especially if that garrison... Well, A, that's a garrison in the field. So they've lost potentially half a stack of free troops. It's one of their armies, which if we take the city, they'll be destroyed entirely. And then they've only got two stacks... One of which is sat in Greece, and the other one is floating between them. Okay, I think now is the time. Especially if full, a full garrison means they won't have mortars. They'll have howitzers. Well, it depends if the army that goes in there is the army that had howitzers. But they might have howitzers, but they'll, I'll take that. And noteworthy, ten grand! Ten grand in our treasury. Okay, so, oh no, no, no foot artillery. Sorry, no howitzers. And just uh, organ guns, which is still good, and eighty pounders, which are also good. But okay, so there's a school. Upgrade it to a college immediately. I know you didn't like that. Let's upgrade a Pasha's palace. Let's recruit some mob units to help garrison the city. Ajal. Okay, you cross the strait. Can you men get... If you men get to here... You are able to reinforce. You can get... You can just about get there. Let's recruit some troops... Okay, they've blocked off our ability to raid the enemy ports, but, well, from inside this sea. But yeah, if we take out that garrison, they've got this army and an army around Greece, which, if this, if some of these troops go north to deal with us at Istanbul, that's when this army will recommit and lay siege and attack Athens. Great. Um, okay, 3,300. Very poor. Poor, very poor. You're both upgraded anyway. Uh, 
Uh, maybe go for the corn plantation, just add a handful more goods onto the market. Just a handful. And potentially go another Jebek to go add, add to our um, ivory trade. Right. Let's go for Istanbul. Let's do this. Those troops nearby, they're so important. Actually, uh, to be honest, I could probably have done with not spending all my money <laughs> just before I attack the city. I'm going to go back and cancel a bunch of construction when this is done. Although they will rebel regardless, um, it's mainly about doing this damage to the Ottomans. That's really the main gain here. We've just we've got an opportunity here to destroy a full stack of Ottoman troops. Uh, okay. So let's take a decent contingent. They can go out wide. And look to try and surprise this wall. Otherwise, we're going to be blocking in. Because we don't have to worry about howitzers attacking us. I mean, it's going to take, take longer. And now our artillery battery is at risk. We might have to go for a general assault. But if we had a quick line, this wouldn't be a problem. Yep, yeah, just it's gonna take a while because we've only got one battery of artillery. But well, luckily, because the shells are, they're actually trying to engage us with their artillery. But I don't think they're actually capable of hitting us. They're just damaging the. Well, they're not even they're not even damaging their own wall. Because this bit's indestructible. Yeah, I think it's because the bulk of their strength appears to be in Muslim in terms of numbers. They have Janissaries there. Yeah, we're gonna not we're gonna try and knock two holes in the wall. Although We're probably going to have to wait for the hold to be made before we push forward, because otherwise we're going to be... Because of the, um, the angle of the... The angle they're firing at, we're going to be potentially at risk of friendly fire for a long time. Although you guys can probably could push up. I don't want them to get I want if I could get them boxed in around this gate, that'd be perfect. Let's get them um, Let's get a hole in the wall. Although I can probably don't uh, I don't necessarily want to sit here and wait for that to happen though. I do have a bit of a feeling they're not going to necessarily care either way. They might not deploy from that position until the wall has been breached. Sorry, Feline Musketeer. Okay, that's... They're reloading anyway. Just halt fire a bit. Okay, now we'll re-engage. Okay, do I... Will this become a... Rome Total War style battle where we say, right, take one pikeman, get a bunch of melee units, cover the 
cover the entrance. With extra infantry in support if needed. The unit of Belaine trying to scale the wall here. We hear charges. Yeah, the organ guns are. The organ guns are going to try and do... Well, they're shooting at this gate, so we don't necessarily... They might even destroy their own city, trying to kill us. Run the feline up to the gate. Not you guys, your musketeers. You get out of the way. <laughs> Losing slightly. I mean, I, sh I would hope so. That's a hell of a. Hell of a job you gotta do there. Oh, these enemy horsemen have pushed out to try and attack us. This is going to become a bit of a grinding fight. Huh? So basically, these Felaeen, you go there, Musketeers, you can try to get on the walls. Look at this, this is just... Okay, so they're losing. These fellow musketeers push up to here. Afghan hillmen just try to get onto the wall. Okay, now we, now we're chugging. Look at all these dead guys from their own artillery firing in the centre. Super. Bashi Bazook's probably going to do a number on my musketeers. My fellow musketeers, sadly. The e men format ready to push in. The e men push and attack the Azar. My cavalry contingent get up on the right flank. Those musketeers are probably going to lose to the Bashi Bazooks and the, the um, Risks of Souls that are up there. See, if you open the gate, or if we take the gate... These men are just holding position while this grinds on. Objective is here. Yeah, just get up there. Be 
all pushed. This is like this is very rough. Starting to push out. Brightening enemy unit. Okay, let's get my general over here to help bolster this front. If you make and secure this gate, if you guys or you guys can secure this gate, we'll be in. Or if my artillery can still can uh, knock down that corner, we'll be in. There we go. Pikemen get in there and attack the Bashi Bazooks. For you guys to run around this side, because that's open apparently. Same with this cavalry. Oh, the Bashi Bazooks are actually losing! Nice, I guess they just don't have much um, defense. Plenty of troops. Now we're back to winning. My general's up here to provide support. You guys are going to wait here. And see if they can get into the breach. Let's see if we can get my camels in. Ah, they close the gates. The sneaky cards. Get my camels in against the enemy general's bodyguard. And their artillery. Pikemen are starting to clear their way through the breach. Come on, artillery. Make that breach. If they do, I can get my troops in around behind this block. Because they are pushing out, but how much of it is just from mass? They just barreling out. Looks like it. Because ultimately, we are winning. <laughs> Try get. Well, actually, get my. Horseman to attack the general's bodyguard. Try to get my camels to attack the um, breach. No, go straight through. Go straight through camels. My skirmishes are against the general's bodyguard. They're encouraged. But they soon won't be. Amateur! Because now they're outside the walls. If this pops, it could be huge. Are you attack the general's bodyguard. You men attack the enemy horsemen. There you go. These camels that are in here. Where Bashi Bazook is alone, Bashi Bazook is wavering. Oh, 
here we go. Come on, soon. Make sure you've all got guard mode off. Everyone get in there. Inspired by nearly by nearby unit, but my general is a bit afraid. You get my feline from inside the city to attack. There goes one. They got nowhere to go either. As the mayor, you see my fellow musketeers, that's going to spiral in from the rear. Slaughter them! Oh, it's glorious! Push forward! Go, go, go! God. Don't let him get away. Continue. <laughs> oh my God. Some incredibly elite units now in this army. Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful. Who says I rely on quick climb? <laughs> that worked out super well. Although now it does mean I am required to pursue and destroy some of these folks. Not it doesn't not that it matters on the campaign map. Um, the enemy are destroyed. Okay, musket musketeers attack them. No. Yeah, they're all they're all defeated on the campaign map. It'll just be a case of. Um, it'll just be a case of getting more experience for my troops if I wanted it. Okay, they've... Okay, so this is part of the problem, is that... So I continue the action, because those guys are stuck. We can't actually get to them. Oh no, they will shuffle out. Is there anybody else in here? Apparently there is somebody in here, not that we can do much about that. Okay, these guys are going to escape. So this is part of the reason why it's great to have um, battle turn limits. Ah, there they are. Can you move? Uh, it's our gate. Why have you shut on my troops? Look at that. Okay, good. So those troops in the gate, for whatever reason, they disappeared or got destroyed. Either way, uh, who needs a reinforcing army? That went crazy well. Look at that. We lost 1,200 men. They lost nearly 4,000. Not a single man left standing. Oh my god. Yeah, our army's in really good shape. My weakest Felain unit is going to bolster some of the others. Everybody, yeah, everybody's in fine battle. Um, exempt from tax. Although, interestingly, they're talking about bankruptcy now for Istanbul. I mean, they hate us, understandably. 
Uh, time to send my agents out to do some wet work. Got him. Okay, we got grenades. Well, that's an enemy general destroyed. So now Thessaloniki is ours. Oh, this is really good. You're not protecting Athens, which is which is really important. Okay, so we were we were upgrading the college. We're not going to do that. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need money. I kind of want all of those. I suppose the one we need the least is the drill school. So we need to at least re reinforce these two buildings or re repair these two buildings and replenish some of our troops get a unit of israeli inside so now we're in a really good place for when these guys spin around and try and attack us even better if they are suffering from a lot of economic problems well let's hit n10 no, that's that was huge I was anticipating my armies getting annihilated attacking the walls, but no, apparently they were just more than happy to pour out the gate and get involved in a melee fight in which we were more than well equipped. But that does seem, it is kind of, that was kind of a fluke. Uh, I don't imagine that that will happen very often. So there you go, some troops have moved away from Greece. Okay, I think we're presented with a really interesting opportunity here. If I go for Athens, we might be able to make peace with the Ottomans because ultimately they are now in a very precarious position. They don't have... They won't be able to produce many good units for a long time. Their armies are, will be too big for their remaining territories. So if I can take Athens with this army... You can leave the city safely. If I can take Athens with this army, then, I mean, we'll be attacked by Venice, almost certainly. But if we can take Ven Athens and then make peace with the Ottomans, I don't mind if they have these territories. They're a border between us and whatever's going on in Europe. That would be fine. Kandahar's developed. Let's get a craft workshop just because a thousand is cheap. Uh, let's get this ship back to Alexandria. Okay, let's try and take Athens. And then see if we can try. Because, I mean, at, that, at this point, I will be happy to... I'm not determined at this stage to annihilate the Ottomans. We'll have, we've taken every single good city they have. It's just gone. If Venice declares on us, which traditionally they... Traditionally, I would imagine they would. Um, then we could attack Venice, the city itself, and have a foothold in northern Italy. Um, but, importantly, most importantly, Istanbul gets us access to an admiralty, which gets us access to better ships, and then we can start to explore the possibility of colonies. So let's get... My Kizilbashi are going to go out wide... Melee troops are going to clear the town with Israeli in support. Hillman and my Berlin Musketeers are going to go out far wide with camel support. form a second rank behind my line. Melee troops, if they can, just push through the city. 
artillery. Okay, that provoked them to move. Oh no, they're just reinforcing their lines. Get my artillery to focus on engaging their artillery. Their um, infantry, sorry. Maybe start running my Kizobashi up and my Fellaheen up. They'll be tired, but they're taking a bit of a hammering right now. And then we definitely want to fortify Greece. I mean, also, if you can take Greece and then Patras, because again, I'm assuming Venice is going to try and attack me, because that's kind of what I expect them to do. Janissaries are getting into position, but my guys are also here. Ready to shoot. is actually a bit tight. Okay, let's start to spread this line out a little bit more. You guys need to pick it up. Just keep hammering. There is Sorelli in the center. You guys might actually be able to shoot them up on the high ground. There we go, a couple of units are routing. Janissary unit and a pikeman unit. Okay, you men just push forward into the Janissary. Okay, right, I think we're going to be... Storming forward. Okay, chase them. Chase them. Just but everyone everyone's just gonna get into the mix now, I think. If they're running, chase them. Artillery cease fire. It's like an overwhelming wave of troops. Yeah, camels didn't even get a look in. Entire Ottoman army just fleeing like cowards. Everyone charge forward into the pikeman unit. Not their general's bodyguard, <laughs> that's all the way out there. Just chase them off the map. No, that's really not gonna see yeah, that's not usually what happens. The enemy doesn't normally put general units and infantry units if they've got cavalry available, but... You know... Okay, everybody just form a line, I suppose. Push forward towards their leader. Get 
getting ready to mow them down with our damn fine musketry. A bit more streaming off into the distance. Back into the city. Well, no good. It'll soon be. Well, they're running towards the Venetians. There we go. Reloading. You need to advance forward. Oh, they're going to engage us in column formation. They don't have fire by rank. So that's that's our insecure as well, I suppose. That will do. Awesome. Um So Ottomans, do you want to give up and trade? <laughs> See this time we actually can. I don't mind. Lots of people on strike, it's all unsurprising. They don't like us very much. Um the French, do you want to trade? You do! Superb! How about anyone else? Genoa, do you want to trade? What if... Because you don't sound too unhappy if I give you improved animal husbandry and common land enclosures. Excellent. Then Savoy... What for you spinning, Jenny? Oh, trade tech. Excellent. Now we're starting to politically isolate um, Venice, because as soon as we get those trade relationships going, or those long-term trade bonuses going, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to oppose us. Get all these buildings repaired, get the port repaired. We've got another port down here. But really what we need are sloops. So we've got my Jebek back here. Let's get you to East Africa. Just to add a little bit of ivory. Where do you think you're trading? You're raiding. Either way, you're... No, it's going, quite, it's going back and forth a lot in this region. New Royal Air. Excellent. Kandahar, here we've given Afghanistan a new building. Okay, so Konya, what are you going to research? Konya, you are going to go for Sexton to give us increased range ships. That's the most immediately useful to us. Um, but yeah, you should be suffering a lot from, or at some point, suffering from bankruptcy because these territories are not enough to fund all of these armies these two like full stacks of troops so attrition hasn't bit completely yet because this unit's in good shape i know greece being captured that's pretty good now we're up to thirteen thousand turn that's pretty awesome so now i imagine we're gonna have to hold athens um in the face of greek um Greek offence. <laughs> Not Gre Greek offence? What the hell am I talking about? Venetian offence. Uh, you want to ally and you're offering to pay for it? No. I don't want to be involved in wars in Europe. That's why I've got my Ottoman buffer. Um, I'm... Yes, I'll give you technologies. You'll give me a bit of money. And flintlock cannon is good. I don't have that. Excellent. There you go. You have your ports have no safe harbor, Ottomans. You better get the hell out of here. So what I'd like to do is to build up an army to go attack the uh, Candy Rebels at Ceylon. Then I can use Ceylon as a base of operations for moving out into 
any remaining pirate territories in the Americas. <laughs> yeah, like clockwork. How predictable. Um, I'm not going to call my allies in. But are you going to call yours in? <laughs> They've all, they're all going to go no. Okay, in which case we're going to have to go on the offensive. Weaver's Cottage in Anatolia. Okay. So Suleiman, <gasps> Suleiman the Sloop. Okay, you can get into Piraeus. Why are you shrinking? Oh, you've still got um, legacy bankruptcy issues. Okay, let's get... Istanbul completely rebuilt. Come at us if you want. Or do I... No, I want them to come after me. I mean, it's mostly conscripts, but... We'll crew a couple of units of Kizilbashi there. The main thing is, in Esfahan, let's start to build a bit of a army. Actually, maybe I don't need to recruit everything in one turn. 1800 is enough to build. It's not enough for ornamental tulip gardens. I can upgrade the mine. Well, first of all, roads. There we go, another Zhebek to boost my... So it might be more efficient to go claim another trade post, but I want, I don't, I'm, I'm happy just boosting my production. It's a slightly less efficient way to do it, because every ship you add adds fewer resources, but... Yeah, Rumelia broke the high port, hey, but that's gone now. Let's repair Thessaloniki. Get my agents. Agent infiltrate Belgrade. Just have a spy network over the border. Um, actually, you know what? You guys could be, could form the basis of that um, attack, that invasion force. Let's get you down to Baghdad. In which case, then, you could do with something like that. So we don't have to recruit loads of troops because they we're going to be able to recruit on the island. And then the, um, actually, you've got yeah, that's not a bad mix. They, they're they going to have pr recruitment facilities anyway. And we're going to be able to build Indian troops here. But yeah, this is quite a good territory to capture and start to use as a springboard to go elsewhere. I think the Americas still have... Yeah, Trinidad and Tobago and Antigua. Because sadly, Punda's been taken, so there is no other Dutch territories that we can capture. And everything's all quite conventional. Either way, I am happy to get a few turns. I mean, we're probably going to fight here against Venice soon. But all things being equal, I'm quite happy to have a few turns where we can just really upgrade everything in our empire. We've got a really good position and I particularly want to try and boost my navy. Because when we start to fight European powers, that's going to be the, the angle of attack. They're going to be landing troops on our shores. Not oh, Mughals are stealing Russian technologies. Good, as long as they're not stealing mine. Oh, my dehumidifier is full. But, first of all, let's deal with these pesky Venetians coming out of the woodwork. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time 
to give Giuseppe Asimani an ass whooping. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>